Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and like videos. Electric Kia EV9 priced like a mainstream, gas-fed three-row SUV. Can Kia's first electric three-row SUV be a value leader for the emerging segment? The 2024 Kia EV9 is one of, if not the most anticipated SUVs in the segment. It's also Kia's first crack at an electric three-row SUV. That means it's taking on the likes of the Tesla Model X, Rivian R1S, and Mercedes-Benz EQS, so far the only other three-row electric SUVs, all of which occupy the luxury class. On top of being a mainstream EV in a luxury world, the Kia still needs to square up somewhat against everyday, gas-fed three-rows such as the Toyota Grand Highlander Hybrid and Chevy Traverse. This unusual market positioning, which will get better when, someday, there are more non-luxury, three-row electric SUVs to compete with, means the EV9's price is paramount. How much does the 2024 Kia EV9 cost? The 2024 Kia EV9 lands on the surprisingly affordable end of things, starting at $56,220 for the base trim, light, with rear-wheel drive. That places it on the higher end of the trim walks of various mainstream mid-sized three-row SUVs such as the aforementioned Grand Highlander, GMC Acadia, and others, and a few thousand bucks above Kia's also value-priced, gas-fed Telluride three-row, but it also isn't nearly as pricey as the entry-level Rivian R1S or Tesla Model X. If the single electric motor making 215 horsepower and 258 LB4 of torque in a large, battery-laden SUV doesn't move the needle for you, Kia also offers up a high-performance GT line trim sending 379 horsepower and 516 LBFT of torque to all four wheels via dual motors, one front, one rear. Obviously, that will cost more than the base model but Kia isn't ready to reveal the GT line's price tag just yet. What do you get for the money? Included on even the entry-level EV9 Lite is a still industry-leading 800-volt electrical architecture, which helps the Kia gobble up tons of charge from a DC fast charger very, very quickly. Other high-voltage EVs on the market include Hyundai's Ioniq models, the Genesis GV60, Kia's own EV6, and high-end stuff like the Porsche Taycan and Lucid Air. According to Kia, the EV9 can get from a 10% battery charge to 80% in under 25 minutes using a 350 kW DC fast charger. In addition to that super-fast charging, the EV9 Lite RWD trim comes with Syntex leather seating, 19-inch alloy wheels, and an 8-way adjustable power driver's seat with heating and ventilation. Infotainment comes by way of dual 12.3-inch screens and a third 5.0-inch screen specifically for HVAC controls. In an effort to please everyone Kia is electing to go with a combination of touch-style haptic switches for infotainment features and physical switches for basic functions like volume, temperature control, and fan speed. Infotainment is managed by Kia's Connected Car Navigation Cockpit, CCNC, UI which the automaker claims will be a snappy experience allowing users to access frequently used quick controls with a swipe. The EV9 will support both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a wireless phone charger comes standard to keep either device topped up while connected. Kia's digital key 2 comes along, too, allowing users to utilize their smartphones as a vehicle key. The system has been improved so that users won't have to physically hold their phone to the door to unlock the car, and digital keys can be shared with with friends and family via text message. In other markets, EV9S will come with cool features such as second-row swiveling seats and level 3 driver assists, but neither of those will be coming to the U.S. market. What about standard safety features? The 2024 Kia EV9 Lite RWD will come with a suite of safety and driver assistance features. Kia hasn't detailed all of them but did confirm that Forward Collision Avoidance Assist, FCA2, will be included standard. As the name suggests the feature will detect and prevent collisions from occurring under certain conditions. Kia says the system has been upgraded for the EV9 to recognize vehicles, 
pedestrians, and cyclists in front of the vehicle while driving, oncoming vehicles turning left at an intersection, and crossing vehicles while passing through an intersection. The system will use braking and steering input to avoid or minimize collisions if it detects vehicles in front of the car while changing lanes or oncoming vehicles it detects during passing. Chances are more driver assistance features will be made available as options on top of the standard features. We're expecting to hear more about that in the EV9's other trim levels and powertrain combinations as we get closer to its on-sale date late this year. Until then, we'll be on top of any new EV9 information we can find, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and like videos.